what do you do when the power fails? A patient simulation of power outage, or sometimes referred to as a code black, is often a fun case of a rare event. Last week, we had multiple power outages. It is extremely valuable for our teams to be prepared for these events. Hospitals often have numerous emergency response codes or patient care codes. A lot of times these will vary between facilities. A code black at our hospital can refer to a loss of utilities or some type of systems function. Hospital facilities rely heavily on power to maintain both normal operations and emergency backup systems. An extended loss of power for emergency medical record systems or durable medical equipment can be critical to a patient's survival. It is important to also note that emergency backup systems are not required for all hospital functions. Examples of areas that don't require power might include server rooms, labs, food preparation areas, and the morgue. There are a ton of reasons why power could go out at your hospital. It might be due to weather like this storm. It could be routine electrical system maintenance or testing, or even new construction if your hospital is building a new addition. No matter the reason, the hospital should always be preparing for what happens next. Objectives for simulations like this can touch on several milestone areas like knowledge or system-based practice. You can discuss how to prioritize and delegate tasks in a time of crisis. Describe how to paper chart in the event that you have a monitor failure, or maybe your electronic medical record isn't available. Knowing your equipment in a power outage is extremely important. You can discuss the importance of maintaining adequate anesthetic depth in a setting of a power failure or machine failure. Even though the risk is small, power outages in hospitals do occur. We use simulation to have our team start thinking about what their needs are in the short term as well as solutions for longer term power outage situations. Is your phone battery usually full or dead? It can be a flashlight or even a way to access a medical record. Printed copies of information needed for paper charting is essential. How long do backup batteries last on the equipment you're using? Is there anything you can do to extend the life? Simulating a power failure can be as easy as flipping a switch. I have used many methods over the years to accomplish the electrical system failure we desired. It can be as simple as a light switch or even a switch on a power strip. Sometimes we've needed two people to accomplish these both at the same time. A more elegant solution is a remote control power switch. This set has the ability to cut off several devices without additional extension cords and I usually do the whole failure by myself. Comment below with what you use and hey, has anybody ever used an Alexa to turn it off by voice? This is definitely on my list of things to try soon. When designing your simulation center, make sure you have a light switch in the simulation suite of your control room. Having the breaker box in your control room also really allows for many, many options. We ended week before last with a lockdown of our campus for a suspected person with a gun. Rare events do happen and simulations can help. Check out this video discussing how active shooter simulations make a difference. Don't forget to subscribe.